Okay, hello and welcome to the EDI training document, video rather. Um, we're going to be taking a uh, sample XML, A10 uh, XML document, and um, we're going to be converting um, an EDI 810 into uh, an A10 XML or a, uh, invoice XML. We're going to be using uh, GXS Open Text Biz Manager using the Biz Mapper tool. So we're going to take you from beginning to end all the way in a series of different videos that will demonstrate how to do this. We're going to start from the mapping portion uh, all the way from taking an XML, creating a schema, creating the business document definition, explaining some of the uh, definitions uh, of the words and the keywords that we're going to be using. Um, I expect that you would know some, uh, uh, some aspects of EDI uh, and some aspects of data formats like XML, JSON, uh, positional flat files, the limited flat files, so on and so forth. But in this case, we're going to focus on EDI X12, not Edifax, uh, but EDI X12, regular documents, A50, A10, uh, purchase order, invoices, and ASN, and converting them to XML back and forth. <clears throat> this document will contain um, these videos will contain um, a lot of detailed information, so we're going to break it on the mapping section, and we're going to then we're going to do videos on uh, the BIS Manager BIS Link, uh, and I'll try to cover as much as possible. Okay, let's get started. Here we have um, the XML document that I uh, created. Uh, this document is uh, the A10 layout. Um, and as you can see, I have it open on Visual Studio. This is uh, available for free. You can download it. So just to show you the way that I did it is I right click on the XML document and I select open with and I selected Microsoft Visual Studio 2022. Now, keep in mind that what we're doing is just opening it in, in the Visual Studio. We're not modifying it, we just want to open it here. The reason why we open it here is so we can create a schema. And uh, what a schema is, is uh, just the, the rules of the XML layout in order to be able to read this document accurately. And we can put some rules and regulations as data type and, and format of the dates and things like that. Um, to, so anyways, we need the schema in order to create the business document definition for the BIS manager, and then we can do the mapping. So to do the schema, we click on the XML on the toolbar. Again, we just open it on Visual Studio uh, I have version 2022, and this is a free uh, tool that is available for download. So we go to XML, create schema, and then we get right away, we get the schema layout. Now, something that I recommend is for, uh, if you see like here, there is a numeric value on, on sign, short, and string, and um, unsigned byte and all these things. What I recommend is for make everything string because if you have a document that in this XML schema, for example, if you have this, uh, 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 this will be the invoice date and then this is the invoice number. Because it has all numbers, the schema is going to think that is, um, that that is see an unsigned integer but a purchase order could potentially have letters or dashes so if you import it like this it's going to have problems so what i usually do i just do um i just do 
uh, a quick uh, copy of this. And then I find, I do a find and replace. Replace unsigned integer with string and do uh, replace all. There you go, 12 items were replaced. And we do that same thing for the unsigned short. I just like to make everything string. Keep in mind that if you want to change it, you can always do that in the in the mapper itself. Here's an on sign long. But just to prevent any kind of errors that may come across on the data, I make everything string, even the numbers. Once everything is set to string, once I confirm everything is a string, then I save it and is um is this is not an a fifty ten I'm gonna leave it like that, but I'll rename it later well actually x s d save then i close this whole thing okay welcome back we are going we're doing we're going to be doing the mapping now and uh, this is open text it is version 4.0 uh, but it is, uh, there's a lot of similarities with version 16. If anything is different, I will point it out. Uh, so for those of you that are running version 16 would understand what the differences are. Uh, but at this point, <clears throat> just to make the map, uh, we're going to be using version four. Uh, again, this is uh, BIS mapper, uh, part of the, uh, suite of BIS manager. And, uh, we're going to be creating the map to an XML. So uh, here we have an op the options of create a map, open a map, create a document definition, and then open a document definition. Document definitions are basically the structure of the documents so we can map from the source to the target. So you're always going to have two source, two business document definitions or BDDs one is the source and the other one is the target in the case of the x12 data or the edifact or <clears throat> whatever format that you're using those come pre-built by open text and you can download that from um, the open text uh, uh, website when you log in into your support you should be able to go to where uh, the software is and you will find that there is uh, um the uh, document definitions um there's two discs i believe at least for the uh the, the x12 but I'll, I'll show that later so here we're gonna what we want to do we want to take the xml schema that we built that we call a sample invoice xsd and create a business document definition that is going to become uh in this case where it's going to be an outbound invoice so we're going to import that. We're going to create it. So we're going to create a document definition. 
uh, we're going to uh, select create a new document definition. Uh, maybe it's here, uh, import from a data source to build a new document definition. Then next, we're going to select the data source and it's going to be an XML schema. Notice that you can connect to databases or if you have a DTD or an SAP, um, you know, the, the iDocs uh, from SAP, you can create uh, from these documents as well. So here's an XML schema. And then we browse to the location where um, the document is, which I believe is um, documents. I think it will be here under documents, EDI data, sample. And then here is the samples, uh, samples invoice XSD. We hit open, then we do next. We do next and show all elements in the I envelope. So next, and here we have, we're gonna include all these. Then we do next. So no unsupported types. Again, I make sure that everything was a string. You can always change it once you have the BDD, but this is another reason why I make everything a string because I don't want something that it exists in the XML schema that it may not be supported on the BDD. Uh, so again, that's why I made everything uh, string. Then I hit finish and here's your document. Okay, really quick. Um, this doc, this right here, used for envelope recognition. You want to select this to true if this will be an inbound, uh, the the inbound document, because um, I, I will show you why when we go into the other part. But this is something important to know. Use for envelope recognition. We're not going to use this for envelope this document for envelope recognition, so we're going to leave it to false. But this is important to notice that this is here. We will talk about it when we do a purchase order, um, or um, well, we'll talk about it later. But keep in mind of, of this little um, property here. All right. So if you notice, everything is imported successfully. So, so far, so good. Then we're going to continue to finish. We're not going to promote, but we're going to save it. So we're going to do file, save. We're going to name it um, invoice-xml invoice dash x a 10 dash xml let's say and let's say this is the xml btd for invoices okay i'm gonna save it. okay so now we just save it and this will become your uh source btd now we're going to be looking into the target BDD, which it will be the X12510.